Hello, Ben here, back with a quick video on how to update the firmware on your TID Radio TDH3. Okay, so first of all, we're going to go over to walkietalkiesoftware.com, which is the TID Radio site, and uh, you will need to create yourself a login if you haven't already for this. Uh, I know there was talk before that you wouldn't need to, but every time I've tried to use the site, I've had to create or I've had to, to log in. Um, but then we'll, I'll put a link in the description down below to how to get to this website. Um, but we're going to hit download software, uh, and that's going to go into my downloaded files, and then we'll uh, show that in the folder and TDH3. So let's cut that, and then I'm going to pop that on the uh, on the desktop and then we're going to unzip that so extract all extract and then we're going to open that folder up and then we're going to go to uh, the firmware upgrade and then we're going to run the TDH3 IAP setup. Uh, you might need to allow that to run, which I'm going to do. Uh, it wants to make changes to the PC, yes. Uh, next. So we're going to install the shortcut. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's successfully installed. So you can now see that we've got the TDH3 IAP on the desktop there, and we can get rid of the other folders. And then we need to open a file, so let's go OK, and then open. I'll open file from there. So then we need to find where we've put that, so on the desktop. I'll be in TDH3 firmware upgrade and there we go there's the bin file that we need so we're going to select that bin file and we need to check our COM port in fact we haven't got the uh, lead plugged in yet so we're going to plug in a uh, a USB lead into the side of the PC and this is a USB to USB-C and we're going to switch the radio off at this point and then we're going to plug the USB-C lead into the USB-C port on the side of the radio check that's fully plugged in let's check the COM port uh, COM port 5 so we're going to OK that then I'm going to press start and once we press start we can push and hold the PTT whilst switching on the radio and then release and there's nothing on the screen of the radio at the minute, the screen is staying blank but you can see on the PC there the uh, status bar is, uh, is going through uh, there we go, so that should now have successfully updated to the, uh, the latest version of the firmware so anyway, I hope you found this little video useful. Uh, stay tuned for um, more testing of the firmware and uh, we'll see you on the next one. 7.3.